Wow. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at ticket symbol ACTC, which is a spark that is in the process uh, of taking uh, Proterra public. So Proterra is a privately owned electric vehicle company. And this company is actually specialized in uh, heavy duty vehicles electrification. So we're talking about your city buses, your Greyhound, and uh, to the point where they're looking at the future is to actually start doing semi trucks uh, to take them public. So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, Proterra and um, ACTC are act light are in the process or right now talking about taking Proterra public. And so the transaction is gonna value the company in about $1.6 billion. And so after this whole thing is done, the ticket symbol for Aglite ACTC is going to change to PTRA, which is going to be the new uh, ticket symbol for Proterra. So this is, um, again, this is news that came out, I think, last week or so. And so I want to make sure that you guys have this opportunity. And they plan on using the proceeds from this merger to actually really improve and and go to market and, and also put some of that money in their research and development. So again, um, I do like Proterra after doing research on the company and looking at what they do. Um, I love what they are doing. So let's, let's jump back here. So again, Proterra, if you look at it, we, we've covered a lot of other companies here on the channel that are in this space, this EV space, because again, that's the hardest thing uh, uh, right now. So we've covered companies like Arriver. We've covered companies like Halyan. Um, again, these companies have concepts that are, are not really in production yet. I mean, excellent concept. I love uh, like Arriver. I love what they're doing in terms of their development, but I want to see the product on the street. And this is where Proterra is really leaving the, the competition behind because these guys are not only talking about a concept, they are in production, not only in production, but they're products are actually on the street and you can see clear evidence. So if we skip right here, you can take a, a look at their customer base, which to me, I, I think is telling because um, most people, again, with all these other companies that go out and are being valued at like billions of dollars, we talk about companies like Quantum Scape. The value of the company doesn't really reflect uh, the product that they have. I mean, as a matter of fact, Quantum Scape doesn't have any product just yet. So when I see a company like Proterra that is not only talking it, but they are already doing it. So I think uh, it, it shows me that they are way ahead of the competition uh, and it's not even close. So again, if you see here, they have a list of customers here that are currently using their technology and their electrification. And so I, I think it's good. Look at that list. It's a massive list all across the country. As you can see, the list just keeps going on and on and on. If we go back again on the map, you can see that across the board, they are everywhere. I mean, with high concentration on the West Coast and on the East Coast, uh, somewhere in the, in the Midwest as well, as you can see that. So they are pretty much um, really in business. And that's, that's one of the things I when I was doing research on them, like this is interesting. So uh, again, Proterra has three key areas um, that really drive their business. The, the first one that you can see here is Proterra powered. Again, this is just electrifying the heavy duty vehicles. Again, those heavy duty vehicles would include stuff like your city buses, your Greyhound, your school buses. And, and also they're looking at on the commercial side, even looking like semi trucks in the future. So um, that is one, if you can see here, uh, they have their best in class electric powertrain components, which I mean, uh, they actually build this in-house, which I think to me, that tells me it's a company that, you know, is going places. And, and to this point, they have been operating as a private company and they've gone this far. So I am, I'm pretty sure that when they get the proceeds from this merger, they, they are really going to explode. They are going to try to um, put some money into research and development as well as just putting some money uh, into trying to acquire new customers, which I think would be a good idea for them. So 
And then the second part of their business is uh, the public transit uh, part, which is the Proterra Transit. Again, they are focusing on transitioning all fleet of public transit to electric. So you can see here they have uh, a really long list of customers that they currently uh, work with, which I think is great. Um, again, this is not just saying, hey, we have a backlog of orders, which they do. They are saying we already have um, you know, shorter buses on the street that you can see and that has our name on it. Third part of their business model is Proterra Energy Fleet Solution. They have uh, their energy source, so then they, they, that energy source goes to utility uh, just to get the energy ready. They can store it so they have a storage facility and everything that they can use for, for that. And then they have the charging infrastructure for your fleet. And then they have the energy management. So they have the software and everything to help you manage everything. And then the battery solution, which they have and they build that in-house and then it goes back through the life cycle. So they come in ready to give you like a full blown suite to be able to manage your, your fleet. And I, I think this is brilliant. So you don't have to, they're not outsourcing anything. So they have everything in-house, um, you know, from the technology to the products, to the um you know the softwares to help you manage and just give you that full suite so it's like a one-stop shop for everything again let's look at some of the stuff that they are talking about if you see here uh they talk about the, the track of uh, enabling commercial vehicle electrification again they have the integrated technology uh ecosystem proven real world validation that one of the things that i was really talking about and really emphasizing to you guys that you know, when you prove that you've done it, uh, it's not just a concept at this point, it's actually working. So uh, the only thing you can do from here now is scaling, which other companies don't have yet. Other companies, they still have prototypes that they're working with. So again, look at the numbers here. I think this is uh, a really good uh, company, in my opinion. I like to see progress. I I mean, I'm sick of just concept. I want to see something tangible. So this is great. If the government were to invest in companies, these are companies that are already doing stuff. So if they're getting incentives, this guy's going to step up and say, hey, look at the work we've done already. Uh, if you give us those incentives now, we are just going to scale and hire more people. The Proterra has overcome key obstacles to electrification. So the obstacles were cost, performance, safety, quality, charging, and scalability. They are saying they've already overcome a lot of this. So high competitive total cost of ownership, um, which is awesome. So best in class battery system and never greater range and weight loss, which is awesome. So over the years, they've been really doing work at um, improving their technology and making sure that it's it, it works for their customers. Here's what I want to show you guys real quick. So this is uh, Proterra compared to other companies that we've talked about. Again, they look at Arriver here, Hylian, Nicola, and Romeo. Um, so if you see here, they are leading in everything. So uh, multi-million real world miles. These other companies, zero, because all they have is just concept. They have, they, they're not in production yet. So they have 16 million, which is crazy. Uh, just to, to, to think about it. Revenue, uh, they think about 193 million. Um, again, arrival zero, because it, they, I mean, they're still um, out there studying out. Uh, Hylian, minimal. Nicola, zero, we know that. Romeo, 11 million. Again, the second closest Romeo is not even close to 193 million that they have. So again, um, highly valuable learning curve um, advantage. They've been there, done that. So hey, all they can do from here is scale. Uh, production track record, and this is the part that interests me, 10 years. Um, all these guys, um, I think Romeo is the only one that can match with them there because they have that ticket symbol there, but they didn't put the number of years for Romeo. I'm going to have to double check that. And then uh, manufacturing capacity, um, they are ready to go. And then full charging solution, they do have that, like we, we've seen in um, some of the other presentations. Again, here is just that market opportunity that they're talking about. Right now, this is what they are servicing all the way to here. Their objective is to move from here all the way to up to here to the top right here, which is uh, electrifying semi trucks. And that is their plan. So they're looking at that and somewhere down the road, this is gonna hit. This is about $37 billion. 
dollars. So, guys, I'm not saying they're going to have or get all of this, but the fact that the company is positioning itself to be in the running for this. So this is Proterra Energy Integrated Fleet Charging Solution. Again, it's just looking at that overall flow from start to finish. So engineer planning, energy sourcing, storage, um, charging, energy management, and recycling. So again, this is the full life cycle, um, one-stop shop. After doing a ton of research, I'm mad at myself that I didn't really research this company a long time ago because um, they have just been floating under the radar and nobody really talked about them. But now that I'm looking at the company, I think the company has um, you know, a great opportunity to really, really do some good things. So again, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Um, like I said, uh, this company is currently uh, in the process of merging with um, Acolyte or uh, when I was doing this video, this stock is sitting somewhere at about $23, uh, $24 and, and some change. So you can see here when they didn't make the announcement, the, the price of the stock went from $12 and spiked to as high as $29 and then pulled back down to this $24. So I think uh, personally, this is on sale because if you see here, it looks like uh, this range right here is the support. So that $23 price point uh, seems to be like the support. So if this thing keeps pulling back, then that will be a good entry point. Otherwise, you can start with a small position up here. And so that when it pull back, you can average your way down and just make sure that you are in the stock. So that that would be the game plan for this. Again, guys, this is one that I think is, is an excellent one. Uh, definitely give them a shot because if we look at all the other companies, again, I've talked about here on the channel, most of them are still operating uh, with just the fact that they have a concept. Uh, but these guys are in business, uh, showing some revenue uh, with just the opportunity now to raise capital and um, expand and just uh, continue to grow. So that's why I really like this one. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Again, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on your content. Guys, and the best way you can support my work here, there's several ways you can do it, but the best way is just to give it a thumbs up and share the video with somebody that you think would find the content useful. And as always, guys, do your homework, don't be a greedy savage, and stay motivated.